Using the native connectivity between Tableau software and Amazon Redshift is the ideal solution for unlocking all of the data in your enterprise data warehouse for your business end users to explore. Taking it a step further and allowing Tableau Server to act as a data entry point for everybody in your organization is an even better way to make sure that the data connection process is as seamless as possible. In this video, I'd like to explore what it means to connect to Amazon and actually create that data portal using Tableau Server's Data Publish option. I'm simply going to connect to my Amazon Redshift deployment, specify a server and a database, and then enter in some simple credentials here. And then I'm just going to establish the connection, pick a schema, and then select the database that I want to provide. Now, in this role, I'm really playing the part of a data architect, someone who's less concerned with reporting and more concerned with making sure that internal constituents have the power to connect the data and that data's integrity is always intact. So now that I'm connected live to my Amazon Redshift deployment, I'm actually going to do a little bit of metadata work inside of Tableau Desktop. The first thing I'm going to do is actually hide a field. Knowing that my business end users don't need access to that or for whatever reason it shouldn't be made available. The next is I'm going to create a hierarchy with these products by simply dragging and dropping them one onto another. I'll name the hierarchy products and then quickly fill it out and make sure they're in the correct order, again, just by using my mouse. Once I'm satisfied that my data is in the right metadata format and that it's ready for business end users to connect to, I, as the data architect, am going to go ahead and publish this up to Tableau Server. Doing that is as simple as designating the data source, right-clicking, and saying publish to server. I'm going to go ahead and connect as the data architect Jeff to my Tableau server and publish this data source. I'm going to name it product sales over time and even say use this so that my business end users know that this is the correct data source to use. I'm going to go ahead and embed the password and then I could add tags but at this point I'm not going to and click publish. And now Tableau Desktop has published this up to Tableau Server. It's at this point that my role as the data architect is more or less complete, and I'm going to transition now to being a data analyst. It's the next day, and I'm a data analyst, and I've just come into work, and my data architect is letting me know that he's published some new data for me up on the Tableau Server. I'm going to launch Tableau Desktop and go connect to that data. Now, instead of connecting directly to Amazon Redshift, all I know is that I need to go to my normal Tableau server and log in as myself. And on Tableau server, there's actually a new data source for me published by my architect, Jeff Brown, that says product sales over time use this. This is what I wanted to use. So I click this, and now Tableau server is serving up as a proxy for Amazon Redshift. As Emily, the data analyst, I'm realizing that all of the metadata is already there for me. That field that Jeff hid, I don't know anything about, as intended, and that hierarchy created in the products is ready for me to use so that I can get started answering questions with my data. Maybe I want to take a look at revenue over time. Quickly do a little time trend analysis, and then I can also bring out something like cost and margin and within a couple drag and drop quick clicks I'm ready to go. I'm pleased with what this looks like and I want to publish this up to Tableau Server to share with other people and to use for myself later on. So I'm just going to go up to Tableau Server which I'm already logged into via Tableau Desktop and publish the workbook. Tableau Desktop quickly publishes up to Tableau Server and when I want to see this in the browser all I have to do is log in through my web browser and everything's ready to go. Now let's say I'm still Emily and it's the next day and I'm on my way to an important meeting with an outside investor. 
I'm ready to show my metrics, but on the car ride over, I realize that I actually needed to do a few more customizations before I'm ready to present. Before the meeting, I'm able to access my Tableau server and log in. From within the web browser, inside of Tableau server, I find my metrics and inside of the browser experience I actually am able to edit. Let's see I wanted to make sure that each metric was called out by color and that for my margin I actually wanted to do a table calculation that gave me the running total. I even wanted to change the chart type to an area chart. I like what I've done. I decided to save this as a different workbook altogether And now I'm ready to present this to the meeting I'm about to go into. The whole time I've been connected live to my Amazon Redshift deployment, and fresh data is constantly entering in so that whenever I look at this visualization, I'm confident that it's up to date and that everyone else is utilizing the same information. My data architect is satisfied with the security because he knows that I'm only seeing the data that he needs me to see and that the metadata is always correct. The queries that I'm submitting are backed by Amazon Redshift's powerful and scalable cluster, so I know that the query times are going to be exceedingly fast. The integration between Amazon Redshift and Tableau software and the Direct Connect option enables that at every step of the way, the full scalable power of the Amazon Redshift cluster as well as the easy, fast, and flexible visual analytic power of Tableau software is unlocked for your business end users. Control of metadata, even use of the Tableau server data publishing option are all things that come into play when recognizing the power of connecting Tableau Live to your enterprise data warehouse hosted by Amazon Redshift.